Welcome to Verstect, the hidden. I, an indie horror game? It looked really interesting. I found it on itch.io. Uh, Verstect. Is that. I was gonna say, is that German? But then it says, it's a cosmic survival horror PlayStation 1 style game set in the woods near Bariloc, Argentina. So that's. I've never seen a horror game based in Argentina. So it's kind of interesting. But it's a cosmic survival horror, so the developer says. But anyway, looks interesting. Just gonna get into it. Jamie and I were filming a documentary for Doc TV, the biggest TV channel in history and culture. Finally, this is our breakthrough, we thought. What a breakthrough it was. Hmm. You want me to drive, Jamie? You look kinda tired. Nah, buddy, I'm okay. I think I can drive for a few more hours, then you can take over. Yeah, cool, just let me know when you're tired. We don't want to crash around here and get stuck in the middle of nowhere. Red flag? <laughs> yeah, that would suck. Don't worry, if I start to feel tired... Look out! <laughs> shit, 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 shit! Mm. That's a weird bug. I think. Looked like the audio cut out or something. <laughs> Shit. Oh my god, are you okay, Dan? Dan? Shit. Oh. I'm okay. Oh, thank god. Shit. Do you How say about you? You okay? Do you say Dave or Dad? My arm's broken. Ow. Yeah, okay, okay. Definitely broken. I think we have some bandages and painkillers in the back. Hold on. Let me check. Hey, who's there? Dan, is that you? What? <laughs> What's with the camera angles? Wait, what? Wait, so the, the guy in the car got beaten up? When I was just standing right here? It's a little weird, but... I can't read that. Uh... Lighter, okay. As far as I know... <sighs> we're not gonna examine the back. It's really dark, too, by the way. How do I get in my inventory? I... I'll have to check the game store page, I guess. Hang on. I'm, oh, inventory is escape. Okay, good. Use left hand special is space bar. Ooh. Okay. Ah, yes. Yeah, Daniel. Uh, uh, so it's like a Resident Evil 2 and 3 styled inventory system. A manual for surviving in case you get lost in the woods. Okay. That, that's it? Can't be used right now. There we go. Okay. But I don't... Uh, what language do people in Argentina speak, even? I don't even know. Maybe I should just look it up. I'm kind of curious now. Ah, the answer is Spanish. Okay. Makes sense. Alright. But then the appropriate response to the paper would be, I don't speak Spanish. Green moon herb. <laughs> Fucking red drum. Mm. Oh, oh, God. Um, uh, Crazy hola. Argentinian man. Hola. Uh, I need help. Uh, Ayuda? I Ayuda? Yankee perdido. A <laughs> <laughs> Yankee? No, I, I, I'm not American. No, uh, sorry, mate. Um, look, I'm sorry to bother you. I'll, I'll, I'll be on my way. <sighs> yeah. In inventory. We got him. You can't hack open the door. But yeah, okay. It's just like... It, it's like Resident Evil 4. Especially the box the box breaking. It, it, as soon as I broke the box, I was like... 
the guy coming in and then breaking a box like this, like a box part, like shaped like that, I'm like, huh, this feels nostalgic for some reason. Hmm. And then it dawned on me. Resident Evil 4. Pooper. Old black key. Hmm. There better be in this game, though, if that's all true and well and what all that. There better be a uh, a time when our character says "No thanks, bro" to something, anything, anything at all. It has to. You have to include that. Uh, you. Uh, just to put it in my hand. Hmm, um, key. Wait, I don't think I'm using a key on this, am I? Nah, I'll probably go this way. Hmm. to figure out where I'm going, I guess. Hmm. Hey, I can break the windows. An old black key found in the cabin near the... In the cabin? It was found in the outhouse, man. Uh, it has an engraving reads waterfall. Okay, well... Maybe something to do with way out here. Mmm, yeah. Oh, jeez. I wasn't expecting a random Argentinian guy to be the, from the water. Oh, God. Come on, what you got? You know, what you got? I've been playing the new world. That game by Amazon. Do you know how many trees I have chopped? A lot. The question is, this is probably where the game wants us to go, so honestly, I want to go this way. Because, wait, hmm? or maybe I can't. At some point when we get the key needed to go through there, then we can grab that red herb. Okay, fine, fine, fine. One thing at a time. Waterfall it is. Used black. Okay, good. Excellent. Hmm. Alright, well, let's see them. Boxes. Nothing really coming out of them, though. The fuck is that down there? Giant slug? We'll check it out later. First, um, can I can I can I take that? I oh oh wait there it is, Vendetta. Hmm. Uh, all right. Can we save it by any chance? No. All right. Nope. Oh god, no, this is not good. This is not good. Oh god. No. Oh god. Uh, okay, fuck this. Um. Oh, okay. What the? Does it have a, a mouth for a butthole? Excuse me? It's... Okay, I'm not gonna waste my bullets. Uh, I... Its attack is so slow. There's no point in feeling it as, as a threat. Like, maybe it does a lot of damage, but... A blindfolded... 
head for a bu- Is this, like, based on the- I'm gonna assume this is based on a human centipede. Even if it's, like, the South Park variant of it, where Kyle's at the end and has to accept the Chinaman's- What, what was it he ate? It's that South Park episode with the human centipede. What is it? Cuttlefish. <laughs> when the Asian guy ate the cuttlefish and then had massive diarrhea in uh, Kyle's mouth. Very, very, uh... Very good image to uh, picture, I know. <laughs> it's like, Kyle, you want me to eat the cuttlefish? <laughs> or, or the cupcakes or something. Just like, you know, tasty sounding. Uh, that was a funny episode. Gross movie, though. Yeah, for sure. The, the, the real movie itself, yeah, kind of weird and fucked up. Like, it's... I'm gonna guess, like, this is, like, meant to be, like, stitched together. Like, that's a blindfold. But this maybe is stitching? Not sure, but yeah, it was a creepy beginning for a for a monster just coming in rushing at me when I was in a closed room. I was fearing that the creature's uh, body hitbox would have physically prevented me from running away, so I was worried. That was weird. Oh no, the the code I. Fuck, I forgot. I, I got too distracted by the monster. There was that code, yeah, yeah. Wait. <laughs> code Deagle? He also got it translated, just in case. Black, black, white, black. Black, black, white, black. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, black, black, white, black. E, e. But with that done, I wonder if anything else has changed. Uh, I'd have to reverse it. I see. Yeah, I was expecting that. Why is there though with this guy? He looks like a priest or a pastor. I don't know. But yeah. Mm -hmm. This way. There we go. Well, yeah, we'll have to see what kind of other monsters they got. This is just a demo, too, by the way. There's gonna be a lot of demos I'm gonna be, like, playing this week, like, seriously. Red key. Oh, that's probably for the house, then. Mm -hmm. There's gonna definitely be monsters here. Possibly a floor trap. Um, I want to find out what's the other way then. This probably will be where they want me to go. Yep. Good thing I came back. Multiple paths, one of them's a dead end. Alright. When's the monster gonna show up? Way over there. One of these walls could be fake, but... As long as none of these guys have a gun. Uh... Eh, slow attack patterns again. I'm gonna assume this is based on Resident Evil 4's Iron Maiden or... Uh... What is it? Iron Maiden? There's two of them. Iron Maiden and the Regenerator? Those things were genuinely fucking creepy in Resident Evil 4. That was like the only time the game was actually fucking spooky as fuck. Ugh. Ugh, just the noise and them just being like that. Ugh. Ugh, hate it. Even even right now as I'm like, I'm like immune and capable of handling... Wait. Wait, what? Hang on. Did I... Oh, I was clicking the ammo and it sent me backwards. Eh, come on. Good. Alright, this should be the key, but yeah, the, even to my, how I am now, the, the regenerators or Iron Maidens or whatever, man, they're still creepy. God damn it, I'm not looking at the fucking floor, fuck right off. I hate that. I hate sensitive things like that, where it's like, I'm not looking at it, and even looking here or here, and it, the white, that right... That arrow, that white arrow says, oh hey, if you hit E, you go down there. I'm not looking at it, I hate that. 
Like, it should only pop up as an interface thing, or indicator, when you're literally looking at this square texture. Ugh, hate. Absolute hatred. But either way, we're moving on. We gotta kill more people. And find our friend, obviously. Oh? We have enough ammo, whatever. Excuse me? How many bullets to the face? I can shoot their hats off! Oh my god, game of the year. But seriously, this pistol. Does it do less damage than the axe? That is weak! Holy shit! There's no point in using the pistol. Or at least not for these kinds of enemies. If all the enemies are melee, then... The only time I'd need to use the pistol is against ranged enemies. Or if it's like, uh... Ranged enemies that have, uh... Bullets that are instantaneous. I guess this is the end of the demo. Probably. Possibly. No? What? What? Huh. Hmm. There's just something about this flag, and I just can't put my finger on it, but there's just something wrong. Fuck your windows. Get over here. But yeah, the enemies just, right now, all the enemies, is just zero threat, which is my biggest gripe. Wait, what? A bed that's just sitting there? That's a, such a hazard. What? There's no railings. You just, if you roll in your sleep, you're dead. You might snap your neck. What the hell? There's a lot of people there. This is a weird village, man. I, I don't know about these house designs. Hmm. Might be the only way I can go is through the window and drop him. You can't jump in this game. Hmm. Well. Oop, wrong way. Hmm, no. <laughs> it's practicing. We could just... Oh! Wait, did I chop his arm off? Oh, sick! You got a dismemberment system in the game, that's cool. They cut both arms off? Oh, I gotta see what he can do. I gotta see if he can bite me still. That's hilarious. Just gotta... Come on. I wanna hit the armless dude, come on. There we go. He can bite- oh, you mother- Can I- can I- I wanna hack his- Is he- doesn't, it looks like he's actually still trying to swing at me rather than bite me. Okay, second test. Can I shoot his hat off still? <gasps> 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Best game. Best game. <laughs> and they're clearly only wearing hats to hide their baldness. Alright, come on. As a form of revenge, I do have to shoot off all their hats starting now. Like, their range, I just have to back up at the last second. I mean, what are you gonna do about it? 
Mm. Anything for me to see? I need a key. Mm. Empty houses. Missing especially is the lack of music right now. F. Ah. My burping can be the music, I guess. A rusty key. That's it? Some weird monster looking down on everyone. Hmm. Let's see what we can do, I guess. Our character, like, has no dialogue on what he's witnessing. It's kind of also strange. Like, we, we just went from being... What well, you'd possibly imagine of being... You know... Regular people... Just going on a road trip, and then... A dark souls or demon souls fog boss gate and then seeing this and our characters just like eh you know I'm just casually hacking up these people in Argentina you know no problems yeah. just uh, stabbing a few people we're hacking them up with an axe uh, my sense of humanity is not being questioned why do you ask can't be used for the F room mm. we'll check that then Wow. I'm gonna assume I might have to remove the rust off of it first, but Oh wait, there's this one. I forgot all about this one. Yeah yeah, hang on, whatever. Hmm. Mm. Fihu, fehu. Ugh. Well, we know where we're going now. We go up here. We probably put a key in here, and then this room has another key, which we then use on the gate I was trying to use the other key on. Right. Hmm. Okay. I know you're somewhere. Hmm. Not yet, I guess. Okay, so we need a drop. Let's go over here. Up here. Over here. All for a key. All that effort for another key? I don't know, man. It's a little questionable. Use a key with a with a, a puzzle that's not even a puzzle. Like you should at least do a puzzle or some form of satisfactory challenges, because it's like you made it literally a key to get to a key to get to a key. You, you need to add some kind of barriers or. Like, if you were learning and taking inspiration from Resident Evil 4, they mixed up exploration and item finding, looting, with fighting and puzzles. Having that right, perfect balance. And same with The Last of Us. That's like, The Last of Us 1 is a great example of combining survival shooting mixed with then, you know, just you know, having that perfect balance of a shootout, it stops, exploration, puzzle, action, 
puzzle exploration action puzzle exploration and it's like you don't get tired of any of them you're never tired of one thing over the other and there's always a, a purpose thanks for playing the game so my best solution or uh, uh, feedback is you need to make it so the tasks you're expecting a player to do has some form of purpose, like a key to a key to a key is lazy. So, I mean, you always have to think of what you can do to add an obstacle. In this instance, it'd be like a puzzle. But everything, there's no puzzles in this to hold me back. It's just simply what things are on my way to delay progression besides enemies that can't hurt me and are not a threat. And there's no puzzles. Everything is just flip a, flip a lever and you know exactly what's going to happen or a button that you'll know exactly what it's going to happen. There's only one puzzle and it was white, white, black, white. And it didn't take any thinking at all. And a typical thing for Resident Evil games is at least to have to, you know, either some backtracking for the sake of a puzzle or finding an item that you're not sure how to use or when to use it so you put it away for later until you find out where it's used and how it's used or why it's used. And then figuring out, even then, sometimes things can happen that's off the screen. You don't know what's going on. You'll have to find out, oh, what happened? We'll have to find out later. What's changed in the level? But in this, it's just, nothing's a challenge. There's no puzzles. And the only thing that stops me from getting actual progress is the fact that you designed a level where it's keys to get a key, to get to a key, to get to a key, to leave the place. And when you put it in the aspect of key to a key to a key, it sounds bad, doesn't it? But that's basically how you can boil it down so better level design mixed with actual puzzles that actually make it so a player is more engaged it would be my absolute feedback or else it's just keys to a key to a key with exploration that doesn't really reward you for exploration like you for exploring so it's just that's my feedback you gotta always add those little kind of trinkets like even if it's just gold like maybe you'll find treasure maybe there's treasure around here in argentina i don't fucking know add treasure chests like resident evil 4 did and then a shop menu so then you're rewarded for exploring or else it's just empty houses and then there's also no music i'm sure there'll am be ambience and music in the in the main game but i mean coming up in october 31st is less than a month from now, so there'd be a lot of things you gotta do, or improve, at least based on my feedback. It is just my opinion, after all. You don't have to take it, but it is my genuine feedback. Let me know in your thoughts down below what you thought, if you agree, disagree, or if you have feedback that'll be helpful for the developer so they can get better at making games, so then their future games will be that much better. So, leave your comments down below if you have any for the developer, and let me know how you thought or felt about the game if you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a full subscriber, hit the notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching, until next time. Arrgh.